Yo, what's up? I want to be the first to tell you guys the case is over. Bonnie Will is hearing ways the walls are closing in and we're about to react to a Doug and Exile video. So I got my notes, I got everything, and uh, stick along to the end of the video. I'm going to have a lot more to say, and uh, I want to ask you guys some questions. So let's get right to it. Get your popcorn. You're going to need a big gulp-sized, God's swimming pool-sized bucket of popcorn. There are at least four ways that the walls are coming in on Fonnie Willis. Number one. First up is Courtney Kramer. She's running against Fonnie Willis for her position this November, and she uh, this clip came from Betty Johnson. How are the citizens and voters of Fulton County ever supposed to trust you again based on the lies and misuse and lack of transparency that, that she's had in that office to this point? Um, I, I would love to debate her because I think the facts are on my side, not hers. Speaking of a debate, Phil Holloway says, I would pay to see a debate between Fonnie Willis and Courtney Kramer. And he has Courtney for, G, for Georgia, GA. But she's right. The only way you can restore confidence back in Fulton County is through a new election because it's not going to, you're not going to be able to restore it and get it from Fonnie Willis. Number dose. Next up, though there's a court date coming for Fonnie Willis tomorrow, Thursday, here's Jordan Seculo new filing against Fonnie Willis on disqualification. Taking uh, the special counsel out who caused uh, this entire problem for Fonnie Willis is not enough. It, again, the issues of impropriety, the odor that this is not right, and that this trial is politically motivated, the money surrounding it, that this is wrong. You can't halfway correct the problem. He's saying that the same principle that removed uh, Nathan Wade must, by definition, remove Fonnie Willis. He believes there won't be a trial. So for her to think that the trains are rolling, absolutely not. But I want everyone to understand the ACLJ is going to be involved in each part of these steps to try an attempt, and we believe we're right, So, we, but we've got to convince the judges and maybe ultimately the justices of the Georgia Supreme Court that we're right, that Fonnie Willis has to go if the special counsel had to go to correct this problem. And if she goes, the entire DA's office goes. I don't think this case ever gets restarted again for any of the defendants, including, of course, President Trump. Number two. Uh, this is again Phil Holloway breaking, and we covered some of this before. Harrison Floyd, judge allows another uh, pre-trial appeal in the Trump Rico case. This is more bad news for Fonnie Willis. Harrison Floyd says Willis needs a referral from the state election board, which she didn't get, meaning her referral. Everything she's doing to him is illegal. It came through a back door. So that's Harrison Floyd. We're going to get more on him. I'm in, I'm in talks with him right now. So It's disgusting. Just look at the White House logs. If anybody wants to tell me something's not coordinated, explain to me why a state official, why people that are supposed to be elected by their state and working for their state constituents is now working with the White House administration. It makes no sense. Kalina Haba, she's talking about yet another front. Ichi, Ni, San, Shi. Four. On Fannie Willis, this is at the state level. What is her name doing on that docket? Let's get to Phil Holloway on the Benny Johnson show talking about her visit to the White House. Even we can see the Secret Service records that are publicly available see that Fannie Willis went to the White House and Nathan Wade went to the White House on multiple occasions. Then she got up on the stand and she just said, I've never been to the White House. So on, on this like most basic, like super low operational IQ level, that's a lie. That's already under testimony, Fannie Willis said she didn't go to the White House. She's already lied under oath. I love this where Benny Johnson just kind of goes, is that how it's done in Georgia? You just lie on the stand? Is your system fraudulent? Like, are you able to just go lie with impunity, do anything you want all the time, just lie with impunity in the state of Georgia to a judge? Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I, you're not supposed to. No, I mean, it's, it's one of the foundational <laughs> canons of our ethics is that a lawyer has an obligation of candor to the court at all times, whether you're under oath or not. I just want to interrupt Phil Holloway there for a second because he brought up on screen the actual docket that shows Fonnie Willis went to the White House. You've got to always tell the truth. 
in this case, we have documented examples uh, of things that I believe, in my opinion, she said that were untrue. And that the penalty for that as a lawyer ethically is disbarment. But on top of that, it's a crime. And if you're the elected DA who's committing that crime, you're violating your oath of office, which is a separate crime in the state of Georgia. It's a felony that carries up to five years. This is Trump legal news brief. Trump's Georgia case picks up Thursday with Fonnie Willis still on the job now. We already announced this, but this is supposed to pick back up tomorrow. She's going to be embarrassed. She's already basically been neutered in public. So I don't know how she's even gonna conduct herself in public, but here's the main bullet point on that one. On Thursday, McAfee will hear arguments on motions filed by Trump and Schaefer. Uh, this is that nice guy Schaefer that we've also covered, uh, seeking dismissal of more charges. The hearing is the first since McAfee ruled that Willis could remain on the case as long as Wade stepped aside. So, so, so you know, they're trying to ask for a dismissal of charges. This isn't exactly a trial. Let's get him off the hook. So she, he still, this court case could still stop tomorrow. And now you're all caught up on all things Bonnie Willis. I hope you guys have subscribed. What's up, guys? So, holy, I took a few notes. I took a few notes. I'm not going to lie. But right now, I just want to say I can't believe she's in jail because she lied under oath. And I think everyone involved in this scam needs to be held accountable for election interference, right? I really believe that should happen. And another thing, uh, if you guys have been paying attention this whole entire time, I've been saying that. But this is the hula hoop effect. Everything she tried to charge him with is backfiring. You know, karma. Karma actually is real. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I wanted to make this a pretty quick video and get straight to the point. But like, come subscribe if you're new.